By the way, proud to team up with the American Red Cross to help victims of Hurricane Florence. So we're calling it Caring for the Carolinas. News 8's Brandon Donnelly joins us live from the Red Cross headquarters in Indianapolis with more on how we can all help. Hi, Brenna. Hey, good evening, guys. I've got a few numbers for you, of course, with Hurricane Florence. So we do know that hundreds of Hoosiers are on the ground in North and South Carolina and in uh, Virginia and West Virginia helping with some hurricane relief efforts. We know that 52 of them are Red Cross volunteers who are specially trained to assist in some of the important things that are happening down there to protect and help the victims. We also know there are thousands, around, around Dutch just help me with that. What was yeah. the number? 6,000 people who are literally in shelters. She's got the number for me. I'm trying to remember. 6, people who are in shelters from the Red Cross. Duchess of Jay is with me giving me some more information on exactly what's happening on the ground there. You said 6,000 in shelters. Those shelters are run and operated by the Red Cross, right? Yeah, we have over 100 shelters in the different parts of the Carolinas and West Virginia, and they are um, staffed by Red Cross volunteers. And, um, you know, it's going to be a long haul with this hurricane. We're going to see a lot of activity, and um, we're just hoping that people, you know, look to help and volunteer. Well, it's significant to get that image in your head because you can obviously see the winds, how We've been showing you that video as well, the, the storm surge, things like that. But the Red Cross is on the ground with people using these emergency vehicles you're seeing, as well as working on these shelters. Now, you've been in these similar situations, such as tell me the kinds of things that you've seen. Yeah, so when I went on my first uh, national deployment to Hurricane Harvey, specifically Houston, um, it was heartbreaking to see all of the different stories um, of the people who've literally lost everything. And I think that's really what we're going to see in this situation with Hurricane Florence. And um, I'm reminded of a story of a young girl who was celebrating her fifth birthday and literally the day when uh, Hurricane Harvey hit was oh her birthday. Goodness. And so the Red Cross volunteers rallied around this little girl to provide her, you know, cupcakes and really just try to make the experience the best that it could be despite losing everything. Life must go on, right? As these disasters happen and if people are able to have a big enough heart to reach out and help, they can help life go on in a really positive way. For a lot of the people affected, thousands have been displaced by this. You can imagine there's birthdays going on for somebody in North and South Carolina right now who are looking for that help. Absolutely. I think it just kind of shows that humanitarian spirit and the resilience of our Red Cross volunteers who literally have heard the call, dropped everything to help. And we figured, I think, the similar situation with us, we have our own set of disasters as well. And so anything that we can do um, as Hoosiers to pay it forward is a great thing. And as you say that, of course, the question in everyone's mind, what can we do to help? What are the final things that people can do today to make a difference? Yeah, so they can visit redcross.org to make a financial donation. They can also consider donating their time here in Indiana. Uh, we have a lot of volunteers, as you mentioned, who have been deployed and we have volunteers, you know, who can support the activity going on here. The home fires, the apartment fires, those things still don't stop. And so anything that we can do to help more people here is a great thing as well. All those things can make a big difference. That's just thank you. We've got that information for you on wishtv.com. It's also on your screen. The number you can call and make a donation to the Red Cross. Help fill vehicles like this and help put a cupcake in the hand of a kid with a birthday. You never know the kind of impact you can make if you send your dollars on a mission through the Red Cross. So thank you again and thanks for joining us. We'll send it back to you guys. All right, Duchess Breda, thanks so much. Stay with News 8 for continuing coverage of Hurricane Florence. The latest updates always just a click away at wishtv.com. There you'll find